Hello and welcome to Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so before I get into it, I just want to let you guys know I am having a sale on my services at zenwithinme.com for the month of December 2019. So if you are interested in some of my discounted services for the month, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, please go to zenwithinme.com and check that out. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. What does Scorpio need to know at this time regarding their love life? Please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life. Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it. What's going on? Okay, so we have the Six of Swords here and the Knight of Wands. Okay, let's see what other messages do we have for Scorpio. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Scorpio? Okay, so we have here Six of Swords. This is someone going towards a better situation. Okay. And this is um, somebody maybe moving out. Or this could be uh, somebody that's in and out of your life. Or this could be you. If you feel that this person has been in and out of your life, you're choosing to go towards a better situation and move forward. Okay, if you are living with this person, you may choose to move out. And if you are not living with this person, you may either decide to break up with them and just move on, or you may decide to go on some kind of trip to kind of clear your mind, see how you feel, change of scenery, just to see if um, when you come back, you're in a different mindset. Sometimes people need a break. And uh, they need to just go clear their mind, have a different scenery. And then when they come back to reality, it's like, okay, do I still feel the same? Or did I just need that little bit of time away? Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. For some of you, it's just a break, having some time apart. Because if this person is in and out of your life, you know, um, actually, no. If, this, if you're living with this person and you can't get away, uh, you may need some time apart. So you're just going to like go off on your own for a little bit. And um, for those of you that have this person that may be in and out of your life, you may choose to end things and say, okay, well, this isn't working anymore. Okay, so if you're living together, you may need a little bit of a break. and uh, Or some of you may just break up. Or if this is a person that's in and out of your life, you're sick of it, you're just going to choose to end things and go towards a better situation. Okay. So let's see. What do we have for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising here? Okay, what messages do we have for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising regarding your love life at this time, please? Last shuffle. Okay, so we have conflict here. Yeah, there's a lot, of course there's conflict here. There's conflict here because either way you look at it, it's not a happy situation. Either this person is never around and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to live like this anymore. Or you live with this person and whatever else you have going on, it's some kind of conflict still that is making you feel like you need to move on without them. Okay, now with manifestation here, this is definitely happening. Okay, someone is making the decision to either move out and move on or to take a break. Okay, you've thought long and hard about this and it's something that you're definitely doing. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life from the Archangels and the Animals, please?
Okay, pig, maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel, and Uriel. Yeah, so with this person in and out of your life, I'm definitely feeling the energy that you're like, uh, no, sir, no, ma'am, you're going to respect me. I deserve better than this. I'm not dealing with this drama anymore. No, 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 no. I know my worth, and I feel good enough about myself to make the moves for what I deserve. Hyena, dare to be different. Archangel Jophiel, yeah, you have no problem standing on your own two feet and doing what you need to do to uh, make yourself happy and get the job done. Eagle, seize opportunities courageously. Archangel Book Peace. So yeah, if some of you are going on a trip, it could be with friends, family, whoever it is. It may even be an opportunity for work, I'm hearing. But whatever opportunity it is, you're going to decide to jump on that because having a break at this point is just what you need. And of course, if it's like some kind of paid trip for work, yeah, you're going to take it, duh. Hold on, these cards fell. Okay. Okay, Panda. Stay balanced and in your essence. Archangels Mary, Jophiel, and Sandalphon. Okay. And Rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Archangels Gabriel and Zadkiel. So yes, stay true to numero uno, Okay. Just rem you have to respect others as well, but just keep in mind, you were born by, yourse by yourself, you're going to die by yourself, so you got to take care of yourself, okay? Okay, so let's see, what messages do we have for you, Scorpio, from the Moonology deck? I'm also offering on my website, just so you know, uh, Oracle readings, okay? So, I believe it's priced for this month at $5.00. You can choose the deck that you want. Um, if nobody chooses a deck, I'm just going to grab the Crystal Oracle deck or based on your question, whatever deck you feel is appropriate. But we have the Crystal deck, the Archangel Animal deck, the Moonology deck, the Alice in Wonderland deck. Okay. And then we have uh, Messages from Heaven deck and the Dark Mirror deck over there. Um, and then I have a special, um, completely lost my train of thought. I have a special service, a special reading. There we go. Ha, oh, thank you. A special reading just with the initial cards, because sometimes you want to know the name of someone or something, you know, so that helps. I think, I think I posted that for $5 as well. So they're all reasonably priced for you guys just to get a quick answer. Okay. So let's see, Scorpio, what other messages do we have for you regarding your love life? Okay, that's enough. It's like a third of the deck here. Okay, lots and lots and lots and lots of messages. Okay. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Are these upside down? Yes, they were. Okay. Nothing will come of this situation. So if you stay where you are and you don't dare to be different, as it says here, maintain your self-worth and self-esteem, seize opportunities courageously. If you don't do these things, nothing is going to happen. You're going to be in the same situation. Hold your vision, okay? Like it says here, stay true to yourself and the universe will re reward you. Step out of your comfort zone. That's the hyena, dare to be different. Okay, so these are all collaborating with one another. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Okay, that coincides with manifestation here. Powerful change, you're ready to make it happen. You're tired of the same old, same old. Work through your fears, more of the same message here, guys and girls. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So th for those of you that are looking to find new love and you're wondering well, if I leave this love, is there somebody better for me out there? Yes, bring love into the situation. It may even be in Aquarius. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, so if you're worried about money, don't be. Prosperity lies ahead. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. See, you do have an opportunity for love here. And for some of you, I'm hearing that... You make moves on this person, letting them know that you're not tolerating their crap anymore. It could be with this person. But you have to make some kind of stand. You have to have some kind of movement here. Or, like it said, nothing will come of this situation. Okay, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. 
So like I said, with manifestation, you thought long and hard about this. You made sure that you knew what you were doing, what you wanted to happen, and you're going for it. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay. And full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture here. Okay. So work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. That's what you're being told here. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love. Happy holidays. And I will see you guys in the next reading.